Hey guys, I just wanted to answer the question on the forums, which was how I did the lighting and the, the neon signs for the my map. Um, and it's really simple, so I just wanted to run through it real quick to show you guys. It's just a it's just a, a mesh plane, so just it's only one side. You can make it two sided, I guess. Pretty easy. Um, and yeah, so I. I made the texture in Photoshop. I just, you know, started painting a bunch of junk on there. Um, and really, all that matters is the the outline and stuff of the the silhouette of this, because I'm just going to use it as a mask. So a bunch of crap like that. Um, and I I did this earlier. Um, just to save time, but I wanted to go over kind of something cool that I found to do with this um, specific thing, which is take a texture like this, and you can kind of get a lot of cool information out of it um, just by running levels over it. I got it to this, and then I just extracted the the white. So I brought that white over, and you can see I used it. I used it right there, um, and it kind of gives this nice texture to the light. Um, just for the the look I was going for. So anyway, um, so you just you save that obviously as a GGA. Do, 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 save it, and then you're gonna import it. I already did that, but just drag it over, and then you're gonna go and create your material. And I have mine set up right here. And it's, you know, pretty much as easy as it can get, basically. Uh, you have your texture that I just made here, and you're going to run it to the opacity. Oh, uh, this is set to translucent, the translucent, by the way, and unlit. So that's going to go to opacity, and then it's going to run through the, the multiplier with the color glow, so that way I can change the color. Um, into the emissive color. So here you can see if I go, you can get all the different kinds of colors. Um, super easy. So that's cool. Go to something like that. And then just. Uh, just um, plop it on there and obviously that's upside down so yeah there you go um, I had these instants so they're all gonna be affected but you get the idea and then if you want it double-sided you can just go in and sign and if you wanted I imagine if you want kind of like a glass pane for it to kind of float inside you can kind of mesh that out and make that out of glass and put it on top or behind it or whatever so it kind of looks like it's actually sitting in something instead of just kind of floating here in space and then for the lights you know it's just some super simple light that I, that I made the source length a little higher and uh, So it just looks like it's reflecting onto the surface a little bit. And you could definitely go way crazier with this and make it look better, but I was just doing it real quick to to get the effect. And uh, yeah, I think it works pretty well. You can see the littler, the littler lines look really good. It's kind of like half glows. That's cool. Um, the other lights are just super simple. Um, kind of building the scene. Um, I don't actually have a directional light going on. It's just all a uh, little bit of a skylight and then kind of a fog to get that kind of city haze effect. And the rest of these 
neon lights and stuff. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to do this better, but but this is what I have so far. And you know, just did the same thing with those. Um, and yeah. So I hope that helps, um, and I'll talk to you guys later.